Hello and welcome to a let's play of Stellaris. Before we get going, uh, I'll give you a bit of info on the game setup. Uh, so I am running all the DLC, that means all the story packs, uh, all the uh, content and the expansions of course. Uh, the game setup, uh, we have a huge world, that's a thousand stars, spiral galaxy, because why not, with all the AI, that's 30. Six of which are advanced, start, five, fallen. Uh, pretty much everything else is defaults, and we are on Commodore level because I'm not good enough yet at max difficulty, but we're getting there. So, without any further ado, let's continue. So we are going to be playing the Adari Imperium. Uh, we are a totalitarian regime, but actually these guys will be role-playing a little bit. Uh, they are an elected monarchy with an emperor or empress. Uh, the idea behind it is uh, the upper nobility of this uh, empire will elect a new ruler every time they die, rather than having it inherit like a uh, standard imperial uh, government type will. Uh, so yeah, we will also be uh, play, uh, playing a bit of role play or trying to. Um, fairly standard ethics to begin with, authoritarian regime, lots and lots of technology. Uh, so let's have a look at the race itself. So traits, we start off on continental worlds, fairly standard. Uh, we're intelligent, so we get a bit of bonus tech um, to research as well as our fanatic materialist research speed buff. Don't know if we're going to go down the robot route yet. I usually do that, but maybe we'll uh, switch things up. Uh, we are traditional. Uh, you know, being a Imperium, I figured we could go down the traditionalist, uh, holding on to values and historical aristocracy, that sort of thing. Uh, we are enduring. Um, because of that, I wanted these two time together, so we learn slower, but we live longer. Maybe bounces out, we'll see. And just to bounce out the points when I was creating this race, um, they are sedentary, um, just because I rarely move them. Um, you could see it as a bit of a cheat, but whatever. So, let's let's actually begin. So, we are in the world of Stellaris. Binary system, I love binaries, and blue giants, very pretty. We are in what planet? What world is this? Adaris. Okay. So we are, oh, we were paused. There we go. So now that we're paused, we are going to continue. First things first, let's set up the science. Uh, generally, I try and get as much science as possible to begin with. So we'll choose all of the science. There are ah, fantastic. Not really had all three before, but that is a fantastic start. Next up, of course, we want to get our science ship out into the galaxy. Very big galaxy, isn't it? Um, yeah, it's not too bad. A few choke points. Uh, yeah, yeah, we can set up a nice little core sector here, add a couple star bases to defend ourselves, and then hard part, we got four directions after this, or five even, so yeah, we'll see where we go. Okay, so let's get this guy going off, I'll queue up a bunch of surveys just to explore our little corner of the galaxy to begin with. Uh, this will do, we will be building more science ships. Uh, but let's just get that one going, and uh, we'll send them off as well uh, for maximum speed. Okay, so building. What do we have to work with? Oh, we're not doing. We're doing pretty well on resources to start. Let's go with science. I like science. Oh, actually, and yes. Before I forget, we will build. That other science ship. Now I won't really be naming naming classes yet. Uh, that would just take way too long to think of cool names. Uh, so you know, if you wanna suggest names to me, by all means, I'm happy to include them in. Yeah. Uh, but for now, I will just be using randomly generated names with the SPQR name. Um. Yeah. Why not? 
He'll live for a while. Maybe we can switch him over to a science research if need be as well at some point. Uh, ooh. Uh, that's average. Okay. Where do we want to go? Now, I tend to try and find the... There's black hole there. That pulsar? Yeah. So, oh, cool. It actually tells you. Uh, so yeah, I want to try and find a neutron star. Because I've noticed that that is the resource I tend to have uh, difficulty with. So we'll come back to that in a sec. Um, Archaeology. Uh, oh yeah, I haven't really played a lot of Stellaris since this whole Ancient Relics uh, DLC was added. Have a little bit. It's quite fun. So yeah, that's uh, handy. We have one there. Let's go with Ancient Life. Ah, uh, it's just a normal. Uh, we found stuff. Okay. So, can we see a pulse uh, neutron star? Ah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we found one. Got a black hole over there. I feel down this way would be best. Really not a whole lot. So yeah, we're going to want to, if we want dark matter, we want to go over here. If we want neutronium, oh, I guess we could, yeah. Okay, so we'll go south. South is good. You. Survey. Oh, well. survey Wonderful. Where? Boston. Is that it? No. Ah, there is. Yeah. Okay, it's being silly. There we go. Uh, just explore that. That. Yeah, we'll go here. So that's the one we wanted to see. Not that we're like, I don't, does it show the resources to begin with? I'm not sure. I don't know. We'll find out. If not, then, you know, it's there when we need it in like 200 years time. Uh, which, as it turns out, will be when the crisis can begin. Not when, not guaranteed, but you know, we'll see. Uh, yeah, research that. Uh, so who, what, what route do we want to go down? Normally, I go discovery just because it speeds up research and surveying. But I'm more, I, it's one of these two is good, to, very, very good to start with. This is when you build more colonies. Uh, we only have that to begin with. Uh, did I say the race grows slowly as well? Uh, how do you find out? Species. No, that is, that's fine. So yeah, we, we don't really kill. Where were we? Yeah, we don't really need the plus one additional. It's nice, but I'm thinking we go this way. That way we pick up survey speed, we search more, and get more science. Yes. Okay. Maybe in another Let's Play, we'll um, go down another route. Like, uh, what I really want to do is I rarely go sci. In fact, I've never gone psionics yet. So I feel going down a psionic route would be an absolutely interesting playthrough, for me anyway. So if you have any ideas on a race we can make for that, yeah, just let me know. Let's just finish building up all this, uh, then we'll go there, grab that science guy for this thing. So let's, let's get out. Oh. Uh, let's see, what building? Okay, go with that. And are we good for... Yes, we're fine for housing for now. Oh, another one. This is where that whole... If I just show you. Is it this? Yes. Again, I've never really chosen this trait, so it's going to be a slightly different playthrough for me. Uh, yeah, survey speed, that's our plan. So yeah. Um, yeah, that's solved. We will get another science ship, just because... With this hot... Yeah, go on then. Hmm. Uh, I'm okay with... Before, you would end up failing these things. I'm really glad that they changed that. Just because it makes it easier. I mean, I just end up telling them to research everything. I'm 
rarely in a rush to uh, survey a specific system, so it doesn't really bother me. But yeah, really happy with that. Oh, let's go with that one. Uh, just because he's the youngest, um, they all cost the same. They're all society, and I rarely care for society tech to be honest. And we got a genius mm. or ma maniacal in there, so. Do we want? Because I rarely care for any society tech. Do we want him to go? I I like engineering, just because you get you know the big mega structures and all that f stuff. So maybe we would. All right, yeah, we are gonna swap him out. Come on. Where are you? There. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, that's gonna bug me. Where? There we go. Okay, we'll do it this way. There. And. Aha! All good. And so. What is this? Level 3. Okay, we'll, we'll hold off on that for a while. That's what we'll be in research. We'll send. Let's go this way. Just because. Yeah, do it. I see no reason why we shouldn't ever do that. You get free stuff at the end of it, and you're gonna end up, you know, searching all the galaxy for stuff anyway. Uh, we'll queue up a few more missions. Just scan this. I know others will. Uh... Oh, dang it! Oh, well. I know the other hyperlanes will show themselves, and there might be more efficient routes and stuff. But it, you know, just getting this little blob first will be fine. Um, Alpha aliens. Oh. Oh, really? So you know what I said about not rushing to get a system? Well, <laughs> apparently we, we've already uh, found a, another sentient race. That's um unfortunate. So that means you. Okay, you. Grab that. Are you... No, you're not, are you? Okay, you grab that, because we want to get that, so then we can go there, although we could be cheeky. We because this is a really good system. 14 minerals, bit of trade, bit of science, bit of energy, and it's a choke point. Fantastic system. I want this. How much? Yeah, it's double the cost. And we only get three, because we haven't got any factions yet, so... How many how many planets are in here? Oh, we'll be fine. Yeah, we'll, we'll risk it. If, if they grab this, I'm going to be really sad, and that's going to mean really early war, I think. So for now, that would be fine. We will position him here ready, though. Um, yeah, yes. I'm sure that'll work out fine. What could go wrong? You go back and research now. Um, oh, uh, do we want something else? There is one job role open. Oh, what's that? Oh, I've done these before. Only once though. Again, I think these won the new um, precursor races. Don't know if they have a different ending. I think there was at one point you could choose one of three routes, so maybe. I'll end up choosing a different route, forgetting or even forgetting which uh, route I went down. Ooh, this could be quite good. Um, we are getting low on energy. Hold off for now. Just build all of those up. Um, where were you found? Okay. Um. The ISS Agathem... I may rename some of these after all. Uh, the I ISS Agathemorus crew are eager to report they have uncovered the remains of an ancient spacefaring species on A1811. Ah, huh. poor planet. Who appear to have inhabited the planet? Uh, wait, what? Small planet. 
uh, several million years ago. Well, it's unclear why the species, who have called themselves a Gruner, Gruner, Anna, disappeared from the Vigimar system. Our scientists have isolated a promising archaeological dig site on the planet. Perhaps further study will yield more clues. Is this a... Yeah, I think this is a precursor. Oh, is it? Yeah, I think they changed how precursor races work, don't they? I think it's a mix of archaeological digs and you get a precursor artifact uh, with um, uh, just your normal bog standard events. Uh, I may be wrong though. They may not actually be a precursor race. Maybe remembering that incorrectly, but we'll find out. Um, yeah. Uh, what is it though? Significant scarring. Ah, someone got a uh, artistic with the planet. Well, asteroid, I guess. Uh, this is our big skeleton, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's. They changed that. It's been a while since I played any Stellaris, really. But anyway, um, that's not bad. Yeah, we get we get free XP. Cool. So there's meant to be another. I, I set up as well. Oh, yeah. Um. Hmm. Hmm. We won't do that now because we're about to finish. Uh. Yeah, we'll get that one. Uh, go back. Go back. Go back. Wait. Oh yeah, go, oh, see, bit inconsistent. Oh, okay. So you have to. Oh, that's cool. There we go. Research. Now you build that. See, it's like a two for one. Uh, no, I don't think we get charged yet. If I hope we just get refunded, maybe Sona. Yeah. Where are they? Yeah, we're gonna wanna. We need to figure out where the choke point is here. We definitely want this, but we're not in so much of a rush to get it, so it's going to take them a little while to get over here as well. They are probably going to go for this system, I imagine. Not a bad place, though. I mean, as a universe, you can only be attacked from two sides, just as long as you get all this. Um, so, yeah, they're the Tizen Th Th Empire. Uh, a little bit similar to us. I really don't know what any of this does. Oh yeah, we're Empress Tiberia Pactumius at the moment. Got to mention that. So, does do these actually change anything? Like, I always tend to go with the double, unless they're like, I don't know, spiritualist, uh, authoritarian, then I'll go authoritarian. But I don't know if it makes any difference, because... I assume they can just see um, which one you are. Don't know. Aliens. Oh. Oh. I mean, they have to go here first. That is fine. Ooh, energy. That's cool. That's exactly what we need. Uh, actually, we're fine for a bit. Um. Yeah, we're going to be fine, I think. Uh, we're going to get... The, yeah, we, we've got this. They have to go here first. Um, and as for choke points, as long as we get this system, we will have effectively boxed them in. And that means we won't have to... Uh, let's just... Oh, yeah, that makes Xenophile. That makes... I don't want us to go with three ethics, just because it be makes things more difficult, right? Um, keep it like this, and also I guess that means there's more factions, so I tend to go with this one. Unless I forget what that does, but I think this will make us xenophile, or some of them xenophile. Um, which I, I don't really care about, but science is always good. So yeah, our plan... Ah, oh, more science. Um, oh, hmm... Oh, here we go. So we don't need energy right now. We're not that well off, but we're fine for a little bit. Um, the question is, do we go 
more faster research speed or automated exploration protocols which gives us this and oof. I'm thinking this one this is only 5% it's not a huge amount more, especially early game, I imagine. I can't remember how it works. If, I suppose this would benefit you more if it's early game. Um, yeah, I think we're going to go with this, just so that we can research, scan all this, and that's our primary objective right now. We need to do that and that and that. But to be honest, by the time that's researched, We've probably already have gone, done all this, but it just makes me scanning everything else a whole lot easier. So yeah, we're gonna do that. Oh, yeah, it is more expensive as well, but that's fine. We're at super fast speed. Um, oh, another one. Artificial construct, thousands of kilometers across. Oh wow, that is big. Is readily visible from Zempec. 6a's orbit. The shape seems to indicate a location of importance in the middle of it. Sensory readings from orbit indicate nothing out of the ordinary, so closer expression is warranted. Level 4? Hell. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's a little way off, but that should be well within our core system area. Uh, cool. Um, that gave evasion. Yeah, let's go bigger guns. Ooh. Oh, wait. Oh, oh yeah. So yeah, that is an arc core system. That's fine. Oh, see, we're getting loads of nice systems. What's that? Why? Oh, it's tundra. I thought it was. Hmm. Don't like that attraction one. Anyway, let's build a, another. No, let's build a construction ship. Because ah, X. Uh, oh, that's cool. That's three minerals. We're making tons though, so it's fine. Um, and we're going to get fourteen. But we want research. And that. And we'll grab that. Just so we don't kill our oh, kill our uh, income, and we'll go with that because I like unity. God, we're flying through these. Um, pops. Hmm. Ship sensors are picking up an unexplained pattern of interference in the bris. Why does that sound familiar? Where are they? Hmm. Oh well. Um, Pops work with research have the. Did we? I oh, know we didn't get anything else, did we? Uh, see, we don't have that many pops. So... Yeah, I think we go with that. Neither of them. Um, saying that, we could switch over. I might do that. I'm going to do that. Oh, cool. The reason I'm doing that. Because where is them? None of these are really going to benefit us. I mean, the plus ten percent research speed would be nice when we complete this whole thing, but it still can be three away, and we're burning through all these anyway. So you know that's fine. But with this, we outright get more faster uh, development, so more faster, bigger colonies. And then we can get this, which I absolutely love because it gives us two people rather than one when we finish the colony. And now that we have this guy, actually, and I mean, I don't really care about, I mean, that's nice as well. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Yeah. So, yes, this is a, this is a very nice one to go with. Um, don't particularly care about the finisher effect, really. Uh, but yeah, the, the actual perks are nice, so, whereas here it's the opposite. We, we don't really care about these, but we care about the research. That's going to be fine, going with that. So we'll go with this, and then probably this. By then we'll have enough research stations for this to matter. 
Um, they'll probably be getting higher levels by then, so we can go there and there. And then we'll go back and finish this off. So that, that'd be fine. That's, that's our plan. It's a good plan. Now that we have this guy, though, so we'll go and do that. It's only size 15. Do we have anything nice? Not really. That's fine. Whatever. Oh, wait. Are we going to specialize it? Yeah, we'll we'll we'll, you know, we'll we'll sort this out. Um, where are we? Oh, this is the Pascal system. Okay. The ISS Pausanias. Okay. The ISS Pausanias crew has succeeded in isolating a signal embedded within the unusual pattern of interference in the Pascal system. The signal is a song. A complex sonification of advanced mathematical equation to be precise. And one that science officer Gaia Asinius cannot seem to get out of their head. Who or what may have composed this song remains unknown, though its, complexi its complexity infers an incredible level of technological sophistication regarding subspace harmonics. The signal's geodesics suggest a point of origin from outside our galaxy. Curiouser and curiouser. That's a point. Do, do the... So I have the L gates thing running as well. Do they? They used to when they first added it. They used to show up like you know somewhere over here, or it's always over here for me. But I don't know if that's just coincidence. Have they hidden that now? Ooh, is that for us? Oh, it's broke. Oh yeah. By the way, when when I when this happens or I zoom into a planet really quick, it's because I press Q. I love that shortcut. Um, Kapler, is it? It's um, where is it? Okay, we have detected what appears to be a naturally occurring subspace phenomenon on the edge of the Kapler system. It's a wormhole. Uh, yeah, I like wormholes. They're cool. Oh, it's here. That could be within our. That is within our territory. Cool. <gasps> There's a comet. Oh no, where was us? Okay. Uh, hmm. Oh. 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 Okay, that's space whales. That is fine. But we will do that. Just get them out of the way. Uh, what are you doing? See, yeah, we've already researched all of these. System survey concluded. Now here's the thing. Construction project oh, cool. So there's that. Uh, we'll do you and do you. Even if we go all the way here. Anomaly found. Uh, ah, there's two. So first, this one. Mid-sized vessel was briefly detected inside. Okay. I feel we want to do this just because of our location. Like, as I was going to say, I'm going to set these to go. Uh, and now explain why. Uh, what's this one? Appears to be a bit of a s ooh living metal question mark. Oh, so yeah. Uh, let's slow it down a little bit. The reason I want to do this now, and it's going to take over a year to do, is even if we got here, like even if we colonized and got built uh, star bases all the way here. I don't think I'm going to want to go this way. Uh, just because if we do that, great, we get more systems. I mean, you know, it could go all the way down here. But then we're splitting the frontier in two. We're going to have to defend these two, or potentially three, star systems. Just to keep these guys boxed in. And when we do that, they ain't going to be happy. I do put it, I do reckon we are going to go to war just because, oof. oh, and they're advanced star as well, of course, um, just because they have no opinion of us, and they like war, yeah, 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 I feel like we're going to go to war with them at some point, yeah, so, we're not going to want to go here. It will piss them off even more. Further, hurry along the war, and 
I don't want to build... I mean, we could. We could build up our little fleet here a little bit. That might not be a bad idea. But it would definitely... You know, building here would definitely mean we go to war a lot sooner. So I think it's fine that we just build here and then go this way. Then it, it buys us a bit of time. They can bubble out here and do what will. Um, to be honest, we're probably going to end up bub uh, knocking heads here anyway to begin with. So it may not even matter. But I just don't want to split our border in three or even two. That'd be a bad idea, I feel. Whereas here, you know, they can get all these systems great, but. I mean, they're still ultimately going to have to go through this system. So we can put massive star base here. Then when we get the inhibition tech, that will be fine. So um, was this that? Yes, I think this was that. what I thought was going to be living metal. Uh, metallic crystals, uh, blah, blah. Oversized crystals, trillions. Uh, hmm. Hmm, nanites. Hmm. So yeah, basically we found nanites replicators. So with that said, let's get a few. I think you are done. So we'll send you back here, get the mission all set up. And um, I feel we know we got this. This is ours. There's, there's no way to get here from anywhere else. So that is fine. So I feel. You know, we'll, we'll decide later. In fact, it is coming up to... Actually, it's over half an hour, so we are going to end this episode here. And next time, we're going to continue building out this way. Figure out what to do with this little guy, whether we, you know, build up... Ooh, that may have changed things. So yeah, we may send this guy off here and, you know, build up, uh, colonize all these. Because um, otherwise, this is going to start falling and... Uh, then we'll decide where to go from there. Uh, we are also going to need to build a bigger fleet, build up starbase here for definite, build up a starbase here at some point. I mean, we don't have any neighbors, so that's fine. Uh, but all that we will do in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time.